Hello, Brookfield Bees. Today is Friday, May 8th. Welcome to week three of Beast Blast. I'm Amulia. And I'm Mason. Congratulations to junior Peyton Fitzpatrick, who was selected for the Wisconsin All-State Cheer Team. Great job, Peyton, at the state competition and on your awesome year of cheerleading. Thank you to our wonderful PTO for organizing gift packages for our teachers. A special shout out to Amy Williams and Beth Rousseau for launching the project and student council, praying parents, district administration, and all of you for contributing letters and gifts to our wonderful teachers. Together, we collected 1,418 items to gift to our staff. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week, staff, and thank you for all you do. Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank, Thank you, Brookfield East. We miss you. Thank you to all the Brookfield East staff and teachers for helping me through quarantine and still being able to teach me even though we're in this virtual environment. Go Spartans! Ooh. Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank you so much for always supporting my girls and keeping them educated, motivated, and involved at Brookfield East for all of these years. Thank you, Brookfield East, for the past four years of my life. It was very much well spent at your school because you guys are cool and I like you a lot and I'm gonna miss you. I'm sad that we can't spend the rest of the school year together, but I'm going to miss you guys. Thank you so much. We really appreciate everything you do for us. Hi, this is the Williams family, and we wanted to say hello to all the wonderful teachers and staff. We miss you guys, but we are extremely grateful for all the hard work that you put towards us. Thank you, and we are looking forward to seeing you guys again in the fall soon. From the Williams family, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank you! <laughs> Hi, Brookfield East staff. This is Abby Melnar, and I just wanted to say thank you for all that you guys do. Hello, this is Abine Reddy, and I just wanted to say thank you to all my teachers and all the staff in the school for working so hard during this time and helping us through this tough time. Thanks. Thank you, Brookfield East. Thank you, teachers. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Brookfield East staff. Hello, teachers. This year, despite this difficult time, has been wonderful. You guys are amazing in the sense that you help all of your students and we really appreciate that. Um, we love you all very much. Keep doing what you're doing. I just want to say thank you to all my teachers. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you to the Elmbrook teachers and staff. We love you. Hey, Spartan teachers. Thank you so much for everything you guys have been doing during this hard time. <laughs> I cooked rock. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Thank PTO will be hosting their final principal chat and PTO meeting on Tuesday, May 12th at 6.30 p.m. While many things have changed, the dedication to our Brookfield East community has not wavered. There will be many items to discuss, including transition events, new board and committee opportunities, and our final principal chat. Mr. Farley will be available for questions and to keep the agenda on track. Please submit any questions prior to the meeting, and if you wish to attend the meeting and or submit a question, please send an email to Amy Williams and she will send you the Zoom link. Hope to see you there. We appreciate all of our family members who volunteer at BEHS. Family volunteers, please be sure you have completed the district volunteer application process, as many of your volunteer statuses close on June 30th. Elmbrook's first tech challenge team, Team Hazmat 13201, Composed of students from Pilgrim Park, Wisconsin Hills, Brickfield Central, and Brickfield East completed their 2019-20 season with a number of awards. Congratulations to all participating students and mentors. Now, here's Mr. Westfall with information about locker cleanout days coming the week of May 18th.
Hello, Brookfield East High School. The document that I am sharing with you outlines the pickup procedure for students to grab items they might have in their hallway lockers, FIAD lockers, either the boys' or girls' team locker rooms, or any medication or health room supplies that you might need to pick up. Uh, the system we have designed for our pickup begins May 18th and runs through May 21st. First of all, Obviously, please review symptoms of COVID uh, and make arrangements if you need to grab items on another day if you or anyone in your family have had any of the symptoms in the last 14 days or if you've had come in contact with anyone who has tested positive for COVID-19 in the past couple of weeks. For picking up items from your lockers or health room supplies, use the front drive, the main entrance facing Lily Road, obviously the north entrance to enter the front drive and the south entrance to leave. Only those main entrance doors will be unlocked for this. So you'll enter and leave those same main entrance doors by the main office. If there are students waiting in line, we will have spark, uh, spots marked off six feet apart for students waiting in line to get into the building. If you drive in and there are students waiting in line, please wait in your cars until the line goes down. Only students will be allowed in the building, so parents, if you are driving your students to Brookfield East on a certain day, please remain in your cars. Uh, we will admit six people at a time, six students at a time into the building. Uh, there will be a couple other people in the building at that time, mainly custodians, so we're limiting it to six students at a time. When you are in the building, please uh, maintain social distance from anybody else that might be in the building and only limit your traffic uh, to where you need to be. If you need to get to a locker room or your hallway locker or to the health room, whatever it may be. Face covering is required. Uh, all of us that are will be there that day, I will be there that day, for example, and we'll have a face covering on. So please bring your face covering. It is required. We will not have any available at the school for use, so please bring your own. There is also a link here in the document uh, for guidelines for wearing a face covering. We will have hand sanitizer available for when you enter the building and when you leave the building. There'll be separate hand sanitizer stations uh, for when you come in and when you leave. Students, if you forgot a combination for a lock, we will have custodians available to cut the lock if needed. And like I said before, if you have anything in the health room, any medication or health room supplies, health room staff will be available to grab those items and let you uh, take those out with you when you leave. Now the schedule, in order to best accommodate uh, everyone and to limit the traffic in the front of the building and limit the amount of people in the building at a certain time, the schedule will be broken up by last name. And here you see the schedule, Monday, May 18th, uh, will be students with the last name A through F, and there's two different times you can come throughout the day. You could come in the morning from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., or come in the afternoon or early evening from 3 to 6 p.m. Tuesday the 19th, students with last names G through LE. Wednesday the 20th, LI through R. And finally, on Thursday the 21st, students with the last name of S through Z. Again, two opportunities each day to come if you can make it in the morning or if you can't make it in the morning you feel free to come from three to six in the afternoon if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me i hope everyone is doing well uh, and have a great brookfield east forensics team will be hosting their showcase virtually today at 7 p.m the show will feature performances from isa zunigemeyer amandroth kor jennifer hong ruba ahmed smila kofid amulia selvaraj and simra ahmed Contact Mr. Meyer at meyerm at elmbergschools.org for the Zoom link. Now, here's a message from Spanish teacher Senora Lentz and French teacher Madame Cosmiter. Hey, bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Madame Cosmiter, eh? Hola, hola todos. Yo soy Senora Lentz. ¿Cómo estás, mi amiga Madame Cosmiter? Um, je vais très bien, merci. Et toi? Muy bien, gracias. Well, guys, here we are. We're here to talk about how to be Spartan strong. Take it away, madame. Okay, we have five ways that we have managed to stay, to stay Spartan strong, and we want to share them with you. So our number five is 
binge watching on Netflix or Amazon or Hulu, finding that special show that just sort of catches your interest and keeps you going. What's your favorite binge watch, Senora? Well, I watched Money Heist, but I watched the first three seasons a long time ago, and season four finally came out this um, in April, I think it was, and I love it, but I got to watch it in Espanol since it's from Spain, and I know somebody that's watching it right now. So what about you, madame? Well, there's a couple. Um, <laughs> one show that I have really enjoyed is um, Love is Blind, where people are dating in pods, which is very appropriate given the COVID-19 situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a guilty pleasure. Um, so our number four is, Senora? Getting outside, getting outside and getting the sun, whether it's sun, cloud, rain, who knows? You know, spring in Wisconsin, it's always a challenge, but get outside, get, move. Don't be stuck in your bedroom. Don't be stuck in your basement, in your kitchen or whatever. Do something. And now with the spring, you can go out and help your mom mulch and dad, you know, mulch or weed or who knows? Mow the lawn. All that fun stuff. What There's about you? So so many options. I know at our house, we've been doing a lot of bike rides because my daughter finally learned to ride her bike without training wheels. Oh, Lainey, way to go. So you guys get, get out there, truly. Like, leave your basement. Get vitamin D. That's number three, madame, yeah. is? Number three is embracing the challenge of this new experience. Yes. We know that we are all growing, and growing sometimes is hard and painful because we are we are looming, and we are zooming, and we are game kidding, and we are quiz living. We are it's happening, it and is. it's um, sometimes it goes so well, and sometimes it is so painful, and sometimes we lose a quiz that we just wrote on Google Forms, and it's, it's midnight, and we we deleted it by accident, and then we have to do it all over because it's for tomorrow, and sometimes we cry. But you know what? We learn, and we just we keep on going we and do. try to find the. Try to find the joy. In Trying the to find the joy. That <laughs> is, yes. Google Classroom was all new to me. Canvas quizzes. Woo, learned so much. I've learned so much. So much. So much. All and right. The cool thing is, is we're all in this together. So we're just trying yeah. to pay each other to make it happen. And being right. in it together, number two, is staying connected. If it wasn't for the technology that we have today and to be able to see my beautiful friend, Madame Cosmiter, on Zoom, or connecting on the phone with FaceTime or just chatting via text messages or whatever, I don't know what I would do, but it's wonderful to be able to either see or hear voices or even just connecting. Cause like, what does our department do, Madame? Almost every day? Almost every day we, we get hilarious memes and um, tips from each other, sharing things we've learned. And we also are blessed to get regular photos of Len Lasha's baby, Anya. Anya. Oh, she's so cute with the so, cheeks. The, oh. the cheeks are so cute, they're adorable. Yeah, so when we're, truly, when we're having a rough day, we're like, um, can someone shoot us an Anya pic? By someone, we of course mean her mother, Len Lasha. Yeah. But it really helps to save the day. And that yeah. brings us to... You. Number one, what is it? Number one is you! you. Yeah. Guys, you guys keep us inspired and, and working hard and just engaged. And Senora, we were talking about the first Zoom that actually worked. Yeah. And all those little faces popped up. <laughs> and it, <laughs> yep. it was so good just to see those faces. So we, we really appreciate when you actually put on your face yes. and unmute. Yeah, and get unmute, unmute students of Senora Lenz unmute. I want to hear that beautiful voice of yours. And when I ask a question, it's just not like, well, kind of like a classroom. You guys all sit there on mute, like mute anyway, even there. And I'm like, today was like Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it and go watch that movie because it is definitely worth it. Ferris anyway. Bueller's Day Off. It's a good watch. No. It's a good watch. Ferris. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, one more announcement is that um, seniors, we need you guys to send in your, um, decision day pictures we have don't have a lot so if you could put them in the shared drive that um, miss francis bridger shared with you or you could send the picture or your decision to mahika mohan and she will take care of it so if you could do that but the cosmiters have a wonderful announcement to share with you guys and here it is here's louise so louise came to us from a texas rescue with her sister thelma and she we got her four days ago and you know a puppy 
is kind of like this quarantine process. It is delightful and challenging all at once. But she's so cute and she gives such good kisses. And um, we just wanted to have a, like a cheerleader to cheer you on. Go Woo! All right, guys. It was so great to talk to you. I can't wait to see you guys again. We miss you. We love you. We miss you. Te, we love los you. extraño. Los echo de mucho de menos. Bye-bye. A la prochaine. Allez, au revoir. Welcome back to Spartan Good News, your number one news channel that is only on once a week. You know you love it. We have some exciting news. We now have three day weekends for all of May. So behind me, our mural is being finished in the lunchroom here at East. Um, we are being finishing that for all the seniors and we'll be adding some more stuff. It'll be all revealed once it's all done. Anyways, that's all I have. I hope you guys have an amazing three day weekend uh, for the rest of May. Thanks for watching. And for your over the computer announcements, this has been Mary Mason. Madhavi, Julia, Simra, Megan, Mahika, and I'm Amulia. We hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Have a wonderful week and go Spartans!